Rock of Thoughts, Mom, I'm back. Something happened to the video. Spiritual attacks, they ain't nothing but the damn devil, but I'm back. You know, spiritual attacks. Satan, the devil was working 24-7. But I remember stopping at, uh, I was on Isaiah chapter 47, verse 3. We're going to we're gonna, we're gonna continue. We're going to continue and go with it. Things happen. So, I was talking about Babylon, America. Okay? Isaiah chapter 47, verse 3. It says, Thy nakedness should be uncovered, yea, the shame should be seen. I will take vengeance, and I will not meet thee as a man. So the Lord is taking vengeance. He's not meeting him. He's sending the floods, the earthquakes, the fires, the plagues. Okay? He was here when he seen him, but now he's in heaven. And he's taking vengeance. Okay? And they being and they doing it, they get taken by their own devices, the wicked. The CERN, the heart, you know. They technology, least Satan should get advantage of us, but we are not ignorant of his devices. His devices. Satan devices, his technology. Okay, heart. Concern, and the Lord is sending the plagues and sending the, uh, the, 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 uh, the floods, the earthquakes, the fires, the overflowing uh, rain. Okay? So, the Lord is bringing judgment. Isaiah chapter 47, verse 3 again. Thy nakedness should be uncovered, yea, thy shame should be seen, and I will take vengeance, and I will not meet thee as a man. Now, this is a metaphor twofold scripture. Now, you seeing women showing their cleavage. They just show their nakedness, man. All out in public. It's the norm. This is the norm. And what's so bad about it, you got women in their 80s doing it, wearing tights and tight stretches. You got women in their 80s wearing tight stretches, showing their cleavage, showing their tits, showing their, you know what? It's pitiful, man. But this is also Babylon America. Daughter of Babylon, America. This is Isaiah chapter 47, verse 4. As for my, as for our Redeemer, as for our Redeemer, the Lord of hosts is his name. The Lord of hosts is his name, the Holy One of Israel, the Most High, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, the Most High, Yahweh, Shem, Mashiach, Yahweh, Shah, the God Almighty, the Holy One of Israel. Most High Father to God, the Most High Father, Abba Yah, God Almighty, and His only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, and from Christ, Yeshua, Mashiach, Yahweh, Shah, Mashiach, Yahweh, Shah, All right, and the Holy Spirit is the Kapha Gosh. Isaiah chapter 47, verse 5, Sit thou silent, sit thou silent, and get thee into darkness. No more. God says, sit thou silent and get thee, Salakia, sit thou silent and get thee into darkness, O daughter of the Chaldeans, for thou shalt no more be called the Lady of Kingdom. So she is not going to be called no more Lady of Kingdom, okay? Because she's going to be destroyed, man. And the Lord is sending, he already sent in the plagues. He's sending the plagues. Thus said the Lord. Thus said the Lord, he's sending the plagues. The plagues are sent. And will not be sent back. No one can, no one can quench the, the, the plagues. And he's plagued in different regions getting hit. Over there in the Middle East, Arabia, Saudi Arabia, uh, Syria, uh, over there in um, Iran, Iraq. All that area is getting hit with the plagues. Dubai got sinked in the water, half of the city, costing, costing them tens of billions of dollars. See, the Lord is going to break the economy down, man, destroy the kingdom. The plagues, the fires, the destruction, the sores, the earthquakes, okay, the floods, all right? It says, sit thou silent and get thee into darkness, and that's he, he bringing that upon America. America's getting hit with all these hurricanes, these tornadoes. 
They're getting hit with the tornadoes, the hurricanes, destroying cities. Okay, stormy winds, uh, snowstorms. Yup, and you're gonna get the plagues of the locusts that's eating up the crops. Famine, a great famine is coming to the land. Okay, going into Isaiah chapter 47, verse 6, the key scripture. I was broth with my people, pertaining a precept to that, Jeremiah chapter 17, verse 4. This is Isaiah chapter 47, verse 6. Again, I was broth with my people. What people? The children of Israel. I was broth with my people. I have polluted my inheritance. How he polluted his inheritance? By giving us up to the enemy. They took everything away. We were stripped of our name, our language, our God, our folkways, our born race, robbed from the power of our own being. Robbed. Everything was taken away from us. Now we're getting it back. But the Lord got mercy. We're coming back to the law, statutes, and commandments. And once we come back to the law, statutes, and commandments, to our true power, the Father, the Most High, and His only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, Yeshua, Mashiach, Yahweh, Shah, Mashiach, Yahweh, the Lord is going to set us on high. He's going to save us, and he's going to put us above all nations and give us everlasting life. We're not going back to captivity no more. No more we're going back to captivity. It says, I was brought with my people. I have polluted my inheritance and given them into thy hand. Thou didst show them no mercy. Upon the ancient hast thou very heavily laid thy yoke. They showed us no mercy by lynching us, redlining us, hating us, racism. Because we God's chosen people. But God put us in that predicament, put us in captivity, allowed them to mistreat us and kill us and hate us because of our disobedience to the Father. Breaking the law, statutes, and commandments. But now, we coming back. He's coming to redeem us and save the elect, the remnant on this side, the first resurrection. This is Isaiah chapter 47, verse 7. And thou said, as I should be a lady forever, so that thou should just not lay these things to thy heart, neither just remember the letter in of it. So this is America Babylon. Even a prideful women in Babylon having that Jezebel spirit saying they should not move. They should be a queen forever. And I'm roughly on preference, and that's going into Revelation chapter 18. Matter of fact, let's go there. This is Revelation chapter 18. And we're going to start. We're going to start. Let's start with one. It says, and after these things, I saw another angel come down from heaven, having great power, and the earth was lightened with his glory. This is the angel, the Lord of hosts. Okay? This is the, yep, the angel, the Lord of hosts. And after these things, I saw another angel come down from heaven, having great power, and the earth was lightened with his glory. And he cried mightily with a strong voice saying, Babylon, the greatest fallen is fallen and has become the inhabitant and has become so like it, the habitation of devils and the has habitation of devils and the whole of every foul spirit and a cage of every unclean and hateful bird. And we're going to go back to that scripture. So, basically, the whole place become wicked and evil now. Yup. Number devil. This place is polluted with nothing but wickedness. Okay? Polluted with nothing but wickedness. And her hurtful works are fulfilled. 
Behold, said the Lord, I will bring, I will send, I will bring plagues upon the earth. I will send plagues upon the earth. And roughly, I'm paraphrasing. The sword, destruction, famine, and death. All the unfaithful should die in their unfaithfulness. All the unfaithful should die in their unfaithfulness. Unfaithfulness. Your witches, your warlocks, your soothsayers, your sorcerers, the pride, the warmongers, the sodomites, the party the gig is up. For wickedness have exceedingly for wickedness have exceedingly polluted the whole earth, and our hurtful works are fulfilled. Revelation chapter 18, verse 2. And that's going into uh, 2 Edges chapter 15. I'm roughly I'm paraphrasing. Now, this is Revelation chapter 18 again. Verse 2. And he cried mightily with a strong voice, saying, Babylon. The great is fallen, is fallen, and it's become the habitation, and it's become the habitation of devils, and the hold of every foul spirit, and a cage of every unclean and hateful bird. For all nations have drunk of the wine of the wrath of her fornication, and the kings of the earth have committed fornication with her, and the merchants of the earth are wax rich through the abundance of her delicacies. So all the kings that came over here in Babylon, they all came and got rich and played their role of oppressing the children of Israel, getting rich, sucking the blood out of us, sucking everything out of us, okay? The resources, everything oppressing us, mistreating us. All right? Now this is Revelation chapter 18, verse 4. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her. Come out of her, my people. The children of Israel, come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sins, and that ye receive not of her plagues. Because the Lord is plaguing this place. More plagues is coming. This is just the beginning of sorrows. The worst is yet to come. Okay? Come out of her. Come out of her wicked ways. Repent. Come back to the law, statutes, and commandments so your sins can be blotted out. Pertaining to Acts chapter 3, verse 19. All right? Come out of her, my people. Revelation chapter 18, verse 5. For her sins have reached unto heaven, and God have remembered her iniquity. Reward her even as she rewarded you, and double unto her double according to her works, and the cup which she hath filled, filled to her double. So pay her back double. This is why going into Isaiah chapter 14, they're going into certain, they're going into slavery. Okay? And Lord willing, I visit that scripture through the Spirit. It says, Reward her. Even as she rewarded you. This her is talking about Babylon. It's a metaphor. It's a twofold. It's a parable. But it also represents the woman. The wicked woman. Because of the woman came the beginning of sin. And through her we all die. All wickedness is but little to the wickedness of a woman. Let the sinner. Let the sinner. Let the portion of the sinner fall upon her. Okay. Pertaining to Sirach. Please ask this chapter 25. But Babylon, okay, Shamaralis was that woman, that queen, Esther. Babylon is the kingdom and the queendom. And Esau, Edom, the Satan serpent is an adversary to God, the devil. What God say don't do, he do the very opposite, man. He puts the woman over the man, Okay. And the woman, the Israelite woman, is ruling over the Israelite man, the black man. It says, let's go to 7 now. Revelation chapter 18, verse 7. How much she hath glorified herself. How much she hath glorified herself 
and live deliciously so much torment and sorrow give her. For she saith, for she saith in her heart, she, this is America, Babylon, and other wicked nations that in bed with her, Moab, Chinese, and the rest of the wicked nations, prideful and arrogant. For she saith in her heart, it's also talking about the woman too, the so-called black woman and the rest of the Gentile woman. Arrogant, prideful, prideful before destruction and the Holy Spirit before fall. For she saith in her heart, I sit a queen, I sit a queen and am no widow and to see no sorrow. Therefore shall her plagues, therefore shall her plagues come in one day, death and mourning and famine. And she should be utterly burned with fire, for strong is the Lord God who judgeth her. And the kings of the earth who have committed fornication and lived deliciously with her should bewail her and lament for her. When they should see the smoke of her burning, standing afar off for the fear of her torment, saying, Alas, alas, that great city Babylon, that great city Babylon, 